American weddings are an expensive vanity party and a terrible tradition. $50,000 average for a wedding? Why would any couples except the wealthy still host large ceremonies? Unless your family and guests are gifting cash generously, a wedding ceremony is a terrible financial decision and a stressful way to start a marriage. Is how well you two plan one event together any indication of a life partnership? I've personally never been that excited about watching friends or cousins get married. They could just show me pictures of an elopement, and I'd be equally happy for them. How did expensive ceremonies become the norm? I understand formally announcing marriages for families of influence, but most of us don't fall into that category. Ever seen an Indian wedding? Sounds like you've never been to a backyard wedding. Are you under the impression that every American throws a $50,000 wedding? It would take some seriously credible statistics for me to believe that $50,000 is even close to the correct number for an average wedding. Come to India. Weddings can cost as much as $200,000. Let me introduce you to Indian weddings. Three full days of non-stop fun for the whole family and all of the townsfolk who just want to sleep, guns and the most over-the-top displays of wealth you've ever seen. I don't even know enough people to plan a wedding. We have those parties where I live as well, some people are just really happy to get married and they want to impress other people. Also the guests where I live usually bring hefty gifts to the married couple, so this kind of balances the cost. My guy American weddings are child's play. LMAO wait till you hear about Nigerian weddings. Loudly crying face. Funerals too. My grandfather just passed and it cost 16k for a basic funeral, no viewing, no procession, just the casket and lowering it down. Oh and that's 16k without a headstone still. Save your family money folks, get cremated. I'll just have you know that younger South Asians tend to have a preference for American-style weddings because they are not unnecessarily over-the-top and not financially crippling. Are weddings really considered a low return on investment instead of a big party for family and friends to mark a milestone life event? It's because of price gouging, not extravagance. And traditionally, a party celebrating the unity of a couple and their two families should be an event. There's a ton of pain in the world, enjoy a wedding celebration. Laughs in Indian When did that become a US exclusive? TBH what's sicker to me is wedding industry. Everything is hella overpriced and they know it but people have no choice to pay for it like that. Sweating in conventional Yoruba wedding Chinese weddings give you a rebate to the point where you can actually turn a profit if you get enough and pows. This is wildly popular on this site. Do you not see this shown every single week? Ha 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 ha. Where the fuck you reading that the average American wedding costs that much? You need to stop believing propaganda of the media and elites. Most people have small weddings that might cost a couple grand. Heck, lots of people get married without a wedding at all. Just a run to the justice of the peace or county courthouse. LMAO wait till you find out about Balkan weddings. My wedding was under $1,000. No one is making you go into debt for a wedding if that's not what you want. The couples who have the big weddings want them. Might as well throw the kind of party you and your soon-to-be spouse want. People are going to judge either way. Might as well have the party you want. If it's expensive you're vain. If it's cheap you're trashy. You don't know much about weddings outside of the American ones. It ain't just Americans that go hard. Have you seen the Middle East or Indians? LOL. Some people go into debt for life because of that wedding. Weddings are inherently expensive. Suppliers know this. I've done a few wedding DJ gigs myself and I always charge a premium. Why? Because I like money and people who are having weddings typically have money. $50,000 average for a wedding. Find a girl who'd rather have that in the bank than put on an elaborate costume party. 
the more you spend on your wedding, the higher the likelihood of getting divorced according to news reports. As a parent, I'd much prefer helping my kids get into a house than pay for a wedding. I think that's a human thing to be honest. I live in a relatively poor space in the global south and you won't believe the debts people get into for weddings. It's really tragic. Sometimes the marriage ends before the wedding debt is paid. This is not a hot take or an original opinion. Been hearing this argument for so long. Shut up, you don't know what you're talking about and are just trying to make an easy karma America bad post. Because people like money. And have to one-up each other. So mostly because people are dicks. If you ever have a question about the world the answer is usually that we suck. Families also pile on the pressure. Mothers especially. What a shit show. Complain about hefty student loans yet overspend on some frivolous nonsense for ONE day. Honestly, this is just you being ignorant to other cultures because America is not the only country that does this. Have you ever been to American wedding? Where is the vodka? Where is marinated herring? Where is the musicians who got the taste? Where is the supply that's gonna last three days? Goggle bordello, American wedding. Just interesting that you somehow think this is unique to America and that we even have the most expensive ones. Just cause Americans do something doesn't just make us the only ones or the worst of it, or that even most Americans participate in it. Like this seriously is just wanting to have another reason to not like Americans or our culture and it's not even accurate. Not an unpopular opinion. I agree with you. That is a stupid amount of money to spend on one event. My sister is getting married soon and I can't picture her and her fiancé spending even close to that much. Those couples want a big and expensive wedding. Nothing is stopping you from having a small backyard wedding where you're not spending thousands to celebrate your relationship if that's what you want. Here we go. Okay you don't want a big wedding. Others do. They enjoy it. They pay for it. Let people do their own shit when it's literally harmless. Believe it or not, some people actually like being the center of attention, in an uncomfortable outfit, surrounded by hundreds of people they don't know, for hours on end. It baffles me and strikes me as incredibly irresponsible lol. It's a day to celebrate the union of two people, lots of people find that special and want to celebrate that. Also with a quick Google search you can see that the average price in the US is about $25.30k which is still a lot, but it's definitely not $50,000. If you're so worried about the price and would feel the same when receiving or just seeing pictures of the day then save your friends and family some money and tell them you're busy or don't want to go. I'm in Germany, and we are currently planning our marriage next September. I estimate it to cost max 10k, with 35 people in the reception. Food is 1.5k, my custom sewn dress also. 50k? Elm Fowl that's only in movies my guy. Maybe 5k. I mean my wife and I made most of the stuff for our wedding. We got out under 5k. Nice venue and dress and all. Expensive ceremonies are not the norm. For every extravagant wedding there's 50 people just getting married at the courthouse. I see it as a celebration of love and a milestone life event, 50k is a huge overestimate. I don't get why everyone these days want to constantly want to dog on traditional things such as marriage and children to feel edgy and contrarian. Why only American though? In lots of countries people have weddings they can't afford just for the show. It's a universal issue, not just in America. Stupid amounts of money are invested in wedding whether one can afford it or not. Ask the Middle Easterners, they'll tell you all about it. This opinion is not remotely unpopular. Doesn't like every country have expensive weddings?